Hi everyone and welcome to Chef Mooney coming to you from Mooney's Kitchen. Now today's recipe is a fantastic classic. I'm going to put my little spin on the creme brulee. So let's get cooking with Chef Mooney. For this recipe you're going to need two vanilla bean pods. You're going to slice them down the middle all the way through. Then simply scrape all the vanilla bean seeds out. There you go. Into a heavy base pot I'm going to put 300 mils of heavy cream and 200 mils of milk. I'm going to add my vanilla bean seed and I'm going to put the vanilla bean pods into the milk as well. We're going to gently warm this on the stove until all those flavors start to infuse. Into a mixing bowl I've got five egg yolks and 70 grams of caster sugar. I'm just going to mix this and then we're going to add our hot ingredients. Now the vanilla bean mixture has come off the stove and I'm just going to pour in just a little bit. This is what we call tempering. We're not going to shock the eggs too much with too much hot milk going in. We're just going to give it a little bit of a tease and it's called tempering. Otherwise you have a problem that uh, perhaps the eggs could scramble. At the rest including the beans, the vanilla pod, everything. The whole lot. Just let it infuse. Okay, we're going to strain our mixture now into a jug so we can easily pour it out. Now don't throw your vanilla pods away. Keep them because you can give them a rinse, dry them out a little bit and then make some vanilla sugar which I will show you in another recipe. Once your mixture has been strained into a jug. Remove any of the bubbles with a blowtorch and then pour into your ramekins. This recipe makes five 120 ml desserts. Into a baking dish you want to pour in a little bit of a hot water bath. You're going to boil the kettle first and just bring that water just over halfway. We're going to pop this into the oven on 130 degrees and we're going to cook it for about 60 minutes. Once they've come out of the oven, you want to put them into the refrigerator overnight is the best way. You can get away with four hours, but overnight is best. You're going to need to get one of these, which is like a blowtorch, and you just fill it up at the bottom there with gas and you just select your um, on to the on switch and then there you have it. Um, so we're gonna need the blowtorch and we're gonna need some sugar. Now these have been refrigerated as I said overnight. Now you can use white sugar, brown sugar, I'm gonna use just granulated sugar, standard granulated sugar and I'm just gonna make sure that that is even across, even across there. Okay, so once your sugar is on, you just want to put the blowtorch on and you want to start burning this. Well, not burning, but caramelizing the sugar. The sugar will start to crystallize. Just let it sit there for a little bit. We're going to hit it with some more sugar. We want a second coating of sugar once that starts to cool down. We're going to get an amazing cracking sensation as the caramel starts to cool once we've finalized everything. You'll see how it goes. That's the first step. We're gonna put some more sugar on there, let it cool down just slightly, get some more sugar on there, and we'll start the process again, and you'll see how it all comes out. Second lot of sugar over the top. Back on with our blowtorch again. You can hear it cracking and bubbling. I reckon that's about it. Can you hear that? Now the secret to the creme brulee is this. Can you hear that? Watch this. Crack into that center. And just take that caramel and the custard Absolutely delicious. Really beautiful.
Thanks again everybody for watching Chef Mooney. I hope you give that recipe a try. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Twitter and also my new blog page which is www.chefmooney.com. Now until my next recipe you have yourselves a wonderful week. Take care.